Hey y'all, we're doing Red Dead Redemption story mode. Don't care. I I just thought of it last second. Started it for fun. America, we came late in the loss. <sighs> thought of it for fun, and I know I haven't uploaded in a while. Even if you have, even the West haven't mostly been tamed. A few gangs still named or being hunted down to destroy. See, I've already done this story mode at least five times. So I figured it's going to be fun doing it. Even though the story mode is kind of old and only people play, um, only people play, um, online on this game. So, yeah. Abigail says he's dying, Dutch. We'll have to stop someplace. Okay, Arthur's out looking. I sent him up ahead. Uh. If we don't stop soon, we'll all be dying. This weather, it's May. I'm just hoping the law got as lost as we did. There. Arthur! Any luck? <coughs> I found a place where we can get some shelter. I'm just like all here right now. I'm coughing and dying. You know, an old man in town, abandoned. It ain't far. Come on, come on. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this is so small to the day. I think there's gonna be an echo. I'm working on getting a pair of headphones to stop it. Miss Gaskell, get that fire lit quick. Miss Jones, bring in whatever blankets we have. Mr. Pearson, see what we've got in terms of food. Davy's dead. There was nothing more you could have done. What are we gonna do? We need supplies. Well, first of all, you're gonna stay here, and you were gonna get yourself warm. Now, I sent John and Mike scouting out ahead. Arthur and I, we're gonna ride out, see if we can find one of them. And this? Just for a short bit. And I don't see what other choice we have. Listen. Listen to me, all of you, for a moment. Now, we've had... Well, a bad couple of days. I loved Davy, Jenny, Sean, Mac. They might be okay. We don't know. But we lost some folks. Now, if I could throw myself in the ground in their stead, I'd do it. Gladly. But we are gonna ride out and we are gonna find some food. Everybody, we're safe now. There ain't no boat following us through a storm like this one. And by the time they get here, well, we're gonna be we're gonna be long gone. We've been through worse than this before. Mr. Pierce. Miss Grimshaw, 
I need you to turn this place into a camp. We may be here for a few days. Now, all of you, all of you, get yourselves warm. Stay strong. Jack. <laughs> Jack. Look at Jack's bitch ass. No, I'm just I love Jack. Laszlo? What the fuck? We ain't run into them yet. So, they both must have headed down the hill. Sure. Hey. Is that the guy from GTA? What really went down back there on that boat? We missed you. That's what happened. Come on. Oh. Hey. You need horses? Oh, yeah. Hey, Mr. Smith. Get yourself in <coughs> I'll live. Get indoors, son. Right. We need you What strong. the fuck? Okay. Why am I? Okay. Come on, let's go. Ain't sure what we're gonna find out here, Dutch. We have to try. Stay close. We'll do our best to stick to the trail. But it's goddamn wet. Been two days or more like this now. Oh, it has to blow over soon. We cannot do cinematic load yet. Careful over this bridge here. Oh, going this way. Can't believe we lost Davy too. He's the last one, Arthur. No more. Yeah, I'm not. To get those people warm and fed. At least we don't need to worry about Pinkerton's telling us in this. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. You need to help me pick the others back up. You're the only one I can rely on to stay strong right now. Yep. Hey, I think I see something up the path. Easy. What's up, Micah? You up ahead. Who's there? Fuck you, bitch. Gentlemen. Found anything? I think so. Found a little homestead down that way. Okay. Anyone home? Sure. Place is blazing with light and noise. Sounded like a party. Let's go see. Follow me. <clears throat> How's Davy doing? Well, he didn't make it. Nor did little Jenny. That's too bad. Davy was a real fighter. Both of them calendar boys is. Er, <laughs> was. Yeah. And Mac, Sean, we don't know. Quite a business. I'm glad you're all right, Micah. Always. Ask him if he's seen John. Hey, have you seen John, Micah? Didn't see much of anything once this storm came in. He hasn't seen him. He'll be fine. Things always turn out right for that boy. I hope Mac and Sean are still out there somewhere, too. The world is so small to the day. Let's head down there. I'm gonna put all this case in my little shop. 
Wasn't on the boat, see it all just on Spook these fine people. Sounds like quite the party. You two, get yourself out of sight. One lonely man is a lot less intimidating than three nasty looking degenerates. Arthur, in that cattle shed on the left. Micah, get down behind that wagon in front. Sorry to disturb you. Uh, my friends and I, well, we got into some trouble up the way, lost in the storm. Ah, uh, gentlemen. We can't help you, mister. I got folks. Arthur. Dying on the trail. Arthur, we got a problem. <laughs> folks. There's a corpse right here. Now, I, I just Arthur. need some... There's a body in the wagon. What's up? I hear you. Just... What the heck, Monica? I can't use Eagle Eye. Upside down. Grab as many supplies as you can. We need the essentials. Food, medicine, whiskey. Oh, starve. You should eat something now. Get your strength up for the ride back. Probably the poor bastard who lived here. Micah found a dead body in the wagon outside. It's a strange one, all right. Maybe they're hiding up here, too. There's a big price on Colmo Driscoll's head. Nearly as big as the one on yours. <coughs> Cold and dead is about the only thing me and Uncle Sam agree on. On Grady. Gotta come up here. Place is dry, warm. We could maybe move the women and Jack down here. Maybe. We'll see how they are when we get back. I don't really want us to split up. I'm going to start packing the horses. You keep looking.
Gotta search this chest real quick. Coin purse? Yeah, that's like 40 bucks. Two bucks, okay. Micah, Arthur, keep looking for stuff. Arthur, go see if there's anything in that barn. What's up, Kev? If someone jumps down on top of me, I'm gay. Oh, shoot. Here, near the lake. What are you bastards doing? Why are you up here? Uh, we're fixing to rob some train. Gonna blow the tracks. No, I don't know more than that, I swear. <laughs> well, I would say it looks like you have this, Arthur. Do what you want with him. I don't care. But bring that horse when you're done. Oh. I don't know anything else. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Get the hell out of here. Go. Come on, you gotta be a. You gotta be a. You gotta get that honor up. Yes, ma'am. He's already calling me. Hold up, y'all. Yo. I was just about to call you. Good, you. I'm feeling all right. Not, not too good. <laughs> like a five. Yeah. Yeah. I feel yeah, I feel better than last night. Yeah, I heard. Yes, sir. All right. Let me see. Bye. You let him go, huh? Go on, little bastard. Scurrying off. Yeah. Figured he won't get far in this anyway. That looks like a decent horse. You should keep him. Get that horse hitched. Don't want him bolting. Dude, I already hit this. Okay. 
We need to get out of here and quick. Come on. Oh. <laughs> you okay, man? They came three days ago. And my husband, they. <laughs> Okay. Miss, you are safe now. And you can't stay here. You come with us. Of course. Miss, it's okay. We're bad men. We ain't them. It's okay. Get on. We'll keep you safe until you figure out what you want to do. What's your name, miss? Miss. Sadie. Adler. Adler. Sadie Adler. Sadie Adler. I... He... He was my husband. El Bozo. No, she tripped. We weren't the first. Combe O'Driscoll and his scum, they beat us to it. We found some of them there. But there is more about, apparently. Scout and train. Thank you. That's the last thing we need right now, Dutch. Well, it is what it is. But we found some supplies, some blankets, a little bit of food. And this poor soul, Mrs. Adler. Miss Tilly, Miss Karen, would you warm her up? Give her a drink of something. And Mrs. Adler, it's gonna be okay. You're safe now. They turned her into a widow. Animals. I need some rest. I haven't slept in three days. You're over here. Miss O'Shea will show you the way. Mr. Morgan, we put you in a room over here. Thank you, Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Bell, you're with the fellas over there. What? How come Arthur gets a room and I get a bunk bed next to Bill Williamson and a bunch of darkies? Get yourself to bed. Wow, a bunch of darkies is crazy. Yes, we want to save this. He ain't been seen in days. Weather ain't let up. He's strong. And he's smart. Strong, at least. Hello, Arthur. Abigail. Arthur, how you doing? Just fine, Abigail. And you? I need you to... I I'm sorry. I'm sorry to ask, but... It's little John. He's got himself caught into a scrape again. He ain't been seen in two... Two days. Your John will be fine. I mean, he may be as dumb as rocks and as dull as rusted iron, but that ain't changing because he got caught in some snowstorm. Please go take a look. Javier? Yes. Javier, will you ride out with Arthur <clears throat> to take a look for John? <clears throat> You're the two best fit men we've got. Now? <coughs> We're all never pretty worried about it. I know. The situation were reversed. He looked for me. Thank you. This way. Last I know, John was headed up the river. For all we know, he kept riding north and never looked back. He wouldn't leave. Not like that. Uh, wouldn't be the first time. Quit playing with my main man, John. The golden boy. 
Jim Miller. I wouldn't have been. Somebody left recently. And that way. Sure, well, come on then. There's some tracks leading to the river. Let's cross. See, they continue up that way. You think it's John? You tell me. These are horse tracks for sure, but could be anyone. Let's just see where they lead. So, you were there, Javier. What really happened on that boat? We had the money, it seemed fine. Then suddenly they were everywhere. Bounty hunters? No, Pinkerton. It was crazy. Raining bullets. Watch out for this crevice. Crevice? For real? Dutch killed a girl in a bad way. But it was a bad situation. I ain't like him, though. Shot too. Sean, we don't even know. I'm surprised we escaped at all. By the time you boys showed up from the other side of town, we were only just holding on. Bad business, all right. Damn snow's coming in hot again. We'll lose these tracks if we don't move fast. See, I always like this camera angle. But I don't know if I should have it zoomed out. Watch yourself. It's not very wide here. Alright, for now I'm gonna have it like this. Because I know y'all are probably like that. Horse struggle. Yeah, a lot of fresh snow here. I don't know about this, Javier. I mean, we can't follow nothing. Now let's push on a little bit. Maybe we'll pick up the trail again. Almost there. Come on now. Yeah, I'm selling you. Hey, look. Over there. You see that? John was riding that horse when we left Blackwater. Let's see if he can hear us. Come on, up there. Shotgun from your horse. Who knows what's a Go ahead. Come on. Javier's horse is shitted in an nasty way. Here. 
You're telling me. Drops down here. Watch yourself. Careful here. Stay low under here. Okay from here. Watch your step. This is real slippery. Stay close to the wall. Up this way. Come on. That sounds closer now. Come on. We're coming, John. Whoa, 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 whoa. Javier, you're getting a little sus. Okay. How you doing? I'm miserable. It's been a tough few days. I know. Yeah, because he's about to give me some. Yeah. yeah. Take a drink of that. Thanks. I'm not designed for this snow. Let's keep moving then. Come on. John, where are you? Most. John. 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 That's John. We're coming. John, I'm coming for you. John, you're making me come. you got there never thought I'd say this but good to see you Arthur Morgan you don't look so good I don't feel too good neither I'm freezing don't die just yet cowboy Compadre. You are not him. You are not him. Ain't you a sorry sad? Can't argue with Oh shit, what the fuck? I told that you weren't the right man for this. I'm sure you did. You alright? I think so. Bro, can this bitch stop fucking texting? I just got hoes on my life. Come on, dude. Fuck 
get back to the others. I don't feel too good. You'll be fine. It's just like a, a dog bite. Hey, you know, fella. Got bit by a dog. Died an hour later. You ain't gonna die. Not yet. Man, you want some too? Like, look out on the right. We got more wolves on the left. Stay back. Get the hell out of here. Get up. Hey, what's up, man? Hey, what's up, man? You see any more out there? Don't think so. Jesus. You still with us, Marston? Just about. Okay, we have some shelter now. Thanks for coming for me. Of course. That bullet in Blackwater, now this. You had a hell of a time. And Arthur always says, I'm lucky. None of us are lucky right now. <coughs> yeah, John. How you like that? You should ride in the water for a bit. Try to lose a scent. Don't want to leave a trail right back to camp. You know, we're gonna need to come up with a better story for that scar. So, freezing, bleeding, starving, damn near getting eaten to death ain't good enough for you. Yeah, come on. Let's push hard and get back. See those buildings up ahead, John? That's where we camped. Nearly there. <laughs> Thank you, Arthur. Thank you. Got you. any other lost maidens need saving? <laughs> Not today. Have you and Dutch talked about how we're gonna get out of this? I was just discussing with Herr Strauss when the weather breaks. I suppose we'll have to keep heading east. East? Into all that? That civilization? I know. The west is where our problems are worse. Come on, Herr Strauss. Let's get warm. Thank you, Mr. Moggy. <laughs> We have been running for weeks. We found shelter and been resting here in some old abandoned mining town while we wait the thaw. Hardly the spring I had been hoping for. All right, I think we're going to stop it right here. Classic oak kicks. That. Want to stop it right here? See y'all, please.